Okay, so here's another question on forces. When two objects interact, they exert forces on each other. Which statement in the boxes is correct? Okay, if you want, you can pause the question and read it. So the correct answer is, you're looking for equal and opposite forces. Whenever two forces are acting on objects, the forces are usually equal and opposite directions. Perfect. Part B. Okay, here's the next part. We have a boat and there is a force pulling it forward or to the right by a fisherman and that's 300 newtons and the water in the ocean is pulling it back by a force of 250 newtons. Describe the motion of this boat. First of all, we can see that they are not balanced. There's an overall force moving towards the right or forward by 50 newtons. That means the boat will be moving forward. Also, it will be accelerating and that's because there's an overall force right now. So remember, whenever there's an overall force, you have acceleration. Okay, so here's the next part. Let's bring up the picture of the boat. It says that the resistive force increases to 300 newtons. Now both forward and backward forces are balanced. So what happens to the boat? Since they are equal, that means there's not going to be an overall force. So therefore, there's going to be no acceleration. So we can cross this one out. Now we need to remember that whenever there's no overall force, the object will experience no change in motion. That means if it's moving, it will continue moving at the same speed, or if it's stationary, it will remain stationary. In our question, the boat was already moving, so therefore it will have constant velocity towards the right. Okay, we just did this, but I guess this is two easy marks that we can just get. Number one, we can say that there's no resultant force, or the resultant force is zero. That's one mark. So the boat keeps traveling in the same direction at constant velocity. Second mark. So that's an easy two marks just for a simple fisherman and boat question. Talking about fishermen, have you ever noticed that a two kind of looks like a fish if you flip it this way? That's enough. Get out of here. Now for this kind of question, we're going to use a grid. Let's move this down a little bit so there's more space for us to work on. So the fisherman called his friend and now we have two fishermen pulling this boat. We can see that the arrows represent the force exerted by each fisherman. So we have one force going in this direction and another one going in a bit of an angle. We want to work out what the overall force is going to be on this boat. So whenever you have a diagram like this, all you have to do is put the forces end to end. So there we go. We can put fishermen one and two next to each other like this. And if we start from here and end here, draw a line between them, and this is your overall force. Now, how much is that as a value? So if we said that this 300 Newton line is worth three centimeters, so that means it's equal to 100 newtons per centimeter. If we measure our green line, that's roughly five and a half centimeters. So according to our scale, five and a half centimeters must be equal to 550 newtons. And that's the answer for the overall force. So remember, whenever you have a question like this, put all the forces end to end, and then start from the beginning, finish at the end, and measure your line. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.